YouTube clips. YouTube clips, I tell people they're like potato chips. And with potato chips, we've all heard that you can't eat just one. And when I tell young going to junior tennis players with YouTube clips, it's quite, quite difficult to just watch one. There's two sides to every coin, two sides to every story. There's a positive and negative. The positive, when young tennis players are looking at YouTube clips, it's passion. They love tennis. But they also will misinterpret what they're looking at. One, based on the speed of the eye. The human eye sees 24 frames per second related to camera, plus when it just comes down to core information. So let's just look at one stroke. Nick Kyrgios, one of the best serves in the history of the game. Let's look at his backhand volley. Not a right or wrong way to volley, but efficient, inefficient, hold up. So you really have to activate the feet, turn the upper body, he needs to give himself more space. Now the right arm is bent. Okay, left elbow is pointing down. He's clutching the racket with his left hand, not the fingertips. We recommend that left, his left index finger be on the racket face. So right arm's gonna be relatively straight, left elbow up, grip swing body. He doesn't have a backhand grip on the backhand volley. Grip determines the angle of the racket face. Angle of the racket face determines the angle of the racket path. Let's go forward. And that's why, hold up, you see, again, such great serving, but to follow it up, the expression, can he stick a volley? That means to get hit by a stick but he ends up finessing so many volleys. In other words, he doesn't power through. Go ahead. The chips are for parties. Now he's a big guy, he's too close to the ball. Left arm didn't go all the way back. Left palm's not down, just checking the checkpoints. Now granted, there's gonna be times, obviously, with uh, volleys where you have to improvise within a fundamental range of correction where he's so close to the ball. But watch where the pat racket path goes. Okay, the racket turns up. Now look at his feet. He's flat-footed. If he, if he made some changes, all his weight would be forward. His head would be in front of his stepping foot. He would have a power line. He'd be leaning in. Balls are hit three ways. Plus, minus IP. Plus is strong. Minus is weak. IP's in play neutral. Let's go back and look at the same backhand volley. Okay, now the same shot. We tell players square out, center the racket. In quick exchanges, many players will keep the racket in this position because when the ball comes right at you, you have a better chance of keeping the racket face vertical when, you have, when you're playing with a backhand volley. That's why in doubles, for example, you're taught to aim at a right-hander's right hip. But let's watch again. We'd recommend left index finger on the racket face for better racket head control, racket head maneuverability, racket head awareness. Fingertips of the left hand on the racket, left elbow up. As he turns, he's gonna straighten out his right arm. But you can see he doesn't do that. Now look at the angle of the racket face. It's almost, it's almost up to the sky. Now he's gonna be too close to the ball. Okay, so hold up now. Again, the contact point. If you don't change the grip, you have to change the wrist. And there's time at the net to make a slight adjustment with the grip. Now we'll go through this in the classroom. Now, weight's not going forward. And now watch where the racket head goes. And then the racket turns up. Now looking at his backhand volley from the reverse angle. Okay, very good out. He makes his split steps on the balls of his feet. He needs to activate the feet, take small little steps, ideally. Okay, go ahead. Now, hold up. Brain memory. He's in the same position as you saw on the previous backhand volley that we showed you. The racket head. The racket head is almost facing the sky. Okay, go ahead now watch what he does. It's not that it's wrong. This volley is hitting a little further away from his body. Look at his left palm. Left palm is up, not down. Left arm didn't go all the way back. And racket hit's going to go down. Let's watch it again. Okay, now he's just practicing cross court volley. Look at the angle of the racket head. The racket face is up. 
When the racket faces up, the racket path goes down. Okay, hold up. The follow through, the finish, that's the end product of the stroke. So over time, what he did, like so many players, if you just broke it down to two words, he didn't change the angle of the racket face, he changed the angle of the racket path. Let's go through it briefly in the classroom. Nick Kyrgios. I think Nick would be the first one to tell you, don't copy my backhand volley. But with his serve, his serve should be copied. Toss low, out in front, to the right, really loose. I wish the young Australian could back up his fantastic serve with a, with a fundamentally sound backhand volley. So you saw the video, his backhand volley very much has this look. If he could change it, where it would have this look. Some of the details pertaining to that, grip, swing body. No such thing as a perfect grip, just the grip with the least amount of adjustment. If he could have the base knuckle be on the right side of the number one panel. So he'd be in this position. When he goes to the second panel, the racket face is in this position. With the step, the aggressiveness, the body being explosive going forward, if he could get the racket face flat, then he could go fast and forward. Index finger on the strings, fingertips on the throw of the racket, left elbow up. Obviously he's got to move the feet and he's got to get away from the ball, give himself better spacing. So he's going to be in this position. So now the left arm goes back, right arm goes forward. His left arm looks like this. It should be back. For every action there's an opposite equal reaction. As he goes back with his left arm, he'll go faster going forward with his right arm and his left palm should be down in this position. Arms are going to be level. He's going to drive the volley. So from here, knuckles go forward, not up to the sky. So the racket goes out to the target. This way has a longer hitting zone. His head's going to be in front of his stepping foot. He comes up on his back foot in this position. So with YouTube clips, I would tell players, copy a serve, don't copy his backhand volley.